The moment the last plane took off, they opened the gates and allowed the contractors on site to do this job. Imagine if you can, a non-stop 72-hour sprint to mill, sweep, repave, and stripe the 7,000-foot long, 150-foot wide primary runway at Lexington, Kentucky's Bluegrass Airport. No bonuses, only severe penalties for exceeding the 6 p.m. Thursday to 6 p.m. Sunday shutdown window. ATS construction of Lexington was more than up to the challenge. Questioning traditional 2D milling and 3D repaving, ATS President Brian Billings and project engineers Todd McDaniel and Dylan Murphy utilized 3D milling to precisely reshape the runway profile, improve drainage, and speed laydown of the three-inch compacted overlay, while achieving the very precise specs contained in the 3D design model developed in the Trimble Business Center. Leaving nothing to chance, next person up and next machine up redundancies were integral parts of the plan. Cat dealer Boyd Cat had service technicians, service trucks, and critical parts, including replacement cutter bits at the ready, on site, around the clock. Minutes after wheels up on Thursday's last flight out, a highly choreographed army of nearly 200 workers sprang into action. Eight milling machines, four pavers, 32 haul trucks, sweepers, and a full complement of backups were ready to roll. Two primary asphalt plants were prepped, with a third standing by. 16 pairs of Trimble Universal Total Stations were positioned across from each other at pre-marked intervals, running the full length of the runway. The 22-pass milling plan was carefully executed. The final plan we decided to go with was a slot-type plan, where we would introduce a 3D mill to cut a slot, we would skip a slot, and then introduce the next 3D mill to cut that slot, allowing a standard 2D mill to scoop up what was left in between. So the application of 3D milling to a project such as this allows you to end with a completely uniform and crowned surface that will allow you to come in and pave standard depth so you can gain maximum production with paving as well. 3D milling technology achieved precision accuracy across the runway's width and down its full length facilitating high-speed, same-depth 2D paving. Commenting about the performance of the new CAT PM622 cold planer, ATS project engineer Dylan Murphy said, the technology is really incredible. Working in sync with 3D design capabilities, the new grade and slope system is very intuitive and easy to use. A clear display and well-thought-out menu provide outstanding operator assistance. The new load control feature is very accurate and provides a significant productivity boost. The advanced cutting system and lacing pattern are other pluses. The simple, well-organized control layout is greatly appreciated by operators and ground personnel. These next-generation CAD coal planers are an excellent example of production-boosting ingenuity. Many months of advanced planning covering 64 tasks including removal of 17,000 tons of milled asphalt and the 21,500 ton laydown proved to be time well spent. As far as I'm concerned, there's no other way to achieve a result like this without using technology like this. The cap machines and the Trimble technology really put this over the top. The logistics on a project with this many moving parts, this many different contractors, it was an incredible feat of partnership that everybody could coordinate and make this happen. The Lexington Bluegrass Airport reopened two hours early on Sunday afternoon using 3D milling precision to achieve 2D paving perfection provided a very viable option for future runway repaving. <laughs>